This is a demonstration for the form manager, which is an add-on for our client document manager premium plugin. Let's start by checking out the administration panel. Uh, once activated, you'll notice a new menu item called forms manager. Uh, from here, you can add a form, um, you can add categories, and you can import previously created forms. Let's create a form. Uh, when you first add a form, you're presented with three demo fields here. Um, you can add fields, you can remove fields. Um, let's give this form a name. And we'll add a couple fields in there. Let's give it a uh, paragraph. Uh, we can give it a date range. And let's add a signature field. You can also add check boxes, multiple choice, uh, drop downs. And you can move these around as well. So let's save our form. The form is now saved. You can go back to the form manager and view your form. Now that we created our form, we can begin collecting data. So go to your document manager and click add form, choose a form, uh, you can give the form a name and then start filling out your form. And since we added a signature we can sign right here. Um, Once the user submits the form, it'll automatically open the file view window. Um, this is just like a regular file, um, but it has form data attached to it. Clicking on form data shows you all the information that was submitted. You can go back and edit it. Uh, once you edit it and you have a signature field, it'll make you resend. From here you can download a PDF which has the signature on it. Or you can share it, edit it, or preview the PDF. The form manager also has a category system. Uh, assigning categories to a form is an easier way to organize your forms. For instance, if you wanted to separate forms by state, and then you can go inside your form manager, modify a form, and assign this form to a state saved our form. Now if we go back into our document manager and add a form, it makes you choose a category first and then you can pull down the form from the category. Uh, another feature we have is forcing users to fill out a form. Uh, you can make a form required by pressing this button. So if a user hasn't submitted a form on the front end, then you'll see an error message forcing the user to add this form.
that about wraps up the form manager. If you have any questions, you can submit a ticket or give us a call. You can find our contact information right on our website. Um, until next time.